Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Perfect Sports Nutrition is stop throwing your kicks in singles and learn to throw them in combination. All right, in today's video, we're talking about stop throwing your kicks in singles and start throwing them in combination. So let's talk about what that actually means. So now, as someone who is a kick fighter, and I'm known for my kicks, my low kicks, my head kicks, okay? People come to me when it comes in to talk about kick fighting, okay? So I'm, I specialize in this over just straight boxing. Now, some of the big mistakes I see when it comes to kick fighting is always similar punches to one kick. So it doesn't matter what punch, you get one kick, you get different punches to one kick, okay? Or what happens is that's even more advanced because at least you're putting a combination together, hands to kick, but a lot of times it's either one kick, okay? Or just the hands, one, two, three, okay? Or then we wait, then it's one kick, okay? So the idea is one kick isn't enough, and I want you to start throwing them in combination. So I'm gonna start throwing you different ways you can throw them, different setups to do them, and more high-level thinking to put your kicks in combination, okay? So the first thing is using your legs like your hands. So the, in order to do that, I always reference using your front kick, okay, into the round kick, okay? That's to me is like a jab round kick. It can be front kick here into the switch kick if you want. It can be a front kick into a right body kick, okay? It can be a front kick here, boom, into a head kick, okay? So at the same time, it's basic. You're using your front kick almost as your jab and your round kick as the cross that follows it, okay? Now, you can do it, that's the easiest way. So a lot of times, if you wanna practice this, I always alternate front kick, round kick, front kick, round kick. Now, if you only throw round kicks here and then here, it's easy for me to pressure you inside, okay? So the idea is mixing front kick, round kick is just gonna help you use your legs a little bit. So I always mix it in one, two, and you can change legs. So front leg, switch leg. So I'm alternating legs as well as different round kicks. So this is starting to get you to think about your legs in combination, okay? So that's the one way, front kick, round kick mix, okay? Now, the other way, simpler way to do it is same side attacking with the legs. So a very easy one would be inside switch kick to switch kick to the body, okay? That double kick comes fast. And even if you block the first one, the second one comes right away. Boom, bang. Now, as you get more advanced, right, that's predictable. Everybody goes leg to body. Then you go body to leg, right? Switch, switch, okay? Now, the same concept can be done on the right side. Now, a very popular one is because Diego, okay, we're hopefully going to be in karate combat very soon where the calf kick becomes very popular, is doubling up the low kick or the calf kick right away. Boom. So I might block the first one, boom, comes down, and then you attack the second one. Same concept to the leg. I might block the first one, okay? I'm gonna block the first one as it comes down, boom, you chop again quick. So that's the double, right? But the same concept can be body to leg, body to chop into the leg, okay? Now, I showed you a video recently about how to pivot for round kicks, okay? So when I do my double, the first one might be centered, the second one I might do a chop set. So you're changing the way you pivot depending your kick on combinations, okay? So kicks is double from the same side, and if you can get good now, you could mix sides. So I can go right side into my switch kick. I can go switch kick into my low kick, okay? So understanding different pivots and different attacking is all going to help you out that way, okay? So those are the best ways for you to put your kicks into combination. Front kick, round kick, or doubling up the side. Then the third way is mixing left and right sides, okay? Now to make this concept a little bit more advanced, this is where level changing comes and not always going leg to body, okay? So that's the idea. So I, I might go here, same side, low kick, head kick, okay? Then the next one, I might go body, head kick, body to head kick. I might, if you have the flexibility, go head kick, control back down into low kick, okay? 
all different variations to confuse your opponent. You got to think, most people, the ending is the head kick, but you're starting with a head kick, so you start playing mind games, but you need the, the flexibility and the diversity in your legs to be able to do so, okay? Now, one of the more high level points I'm gonna end you with is understanding that a lot of people, right, they're like, I can't throw my double kick because say one kick first comes, I move right away, so there's no combination for the kick. But you can learn to bring in proper footwork to be able to close that distance, okay? So the first one you can do is called the slide, okay? So Diego can throw a low kick, boom, slide with the front leg, low kick again. So even though the first one hits and I'm like, no, I want to get away, he's sliding. I still consider that a combination because it's attack, sliding, boom, throwing again. If I really wanted to, first one to the leg, boom, second one slide up, boom, to the head kick, changing the levels, okay? Makes it more advanced. A second easier way is low kick here, back to the stance. He's gonna walk forward and then give me a left kick on the other side. It's a step kick, okay? So low kick, step to southpaw, boom, okay? And as you get better, you can notice here, Diego, when he steps forward, brings in a leg feint, okay? So I kick, then they're gonna fake the leg up to get a reaction, and then we attack from there. Boom, takes a step, boom, attacks, okay? The third one is considered a gallop, okay? Now the key is here, watch my front foot. My back foot replaces my lead foot. So I kick here, back foot replaces, and I launch for the kick, okay? So low kick, gallop, back foot replaces front, and then the head kick. So low kick, I don't need to step again, I'm just gonna launch right into that angled step, okay? So boom, back foot replaces front, boom, okay? Very simple way to add that, closing the distance, okay? So you can see the purpose of throwing your kicks in combination. So stop throwing them in a single. One kick, a lot of times, isn't gonna land. Starting with your punches is a very good thing. Me personally, when I like to kick fight, I like to kick punch kick, okay? Putting those kicks and punches together obviously helps the combination, but just practicing by putting your kicks into combination will help you box with your legs. And I think it's an important concept that we stop seeing a lot more now. Now, I take pride in the ability to kick fight really well, and that's what should be your goal too, right? If you have the ability to use your boxing and your kicks, Kicks are bigger than your arms, right? They're heavier, they're more powerful. I can do more damage with my legs than I can do with my hands. So mixing that in, level changing, changing the angles, putting them in combination will just help you land more successfully and to do more damage, okay? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and sharing Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. And make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors first by heading over to Perfect Sports Nutrition. This way you can pick up your supplements and I'm gonna throw you a 20% off by using code Bazooka20. Make sure you check out the Alters Day pre-workout. Got me that energy that I have for this workout. My branch chains for after and then a nice protein to add my protein and get my daily intake in, okay? Then we have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, all linked in the description below. I use all their training equipment as well as my personal favorite, the T3 boxing gloves. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum, all taught by me, and every single Monday you get brand new videos. And they're broken up into different categories. Home workouts, bag workouts, okay? We have sparring drills, tutorials, plus an archive library now of over 250 videos for less than $10 a month, and you get brand new videos every single Monday. YouTube videos, it just gives you the example of some stuff, but if you want the details on how they all get broken down, that's bazookatraining.com. All right, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. 
as the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.